Right, this kitchen unit of mine, it's worked perfect. It uh, still works perfect. But I got no knife and fork draw. I used caravan doors and uh, let me turn the light on. I don't know whether that makes it, but yeah, it does. Um, you know, I got two shelves on the floor and my knife and, knife and fork rack is there. Couldn't do a lot because I got the sink intruding into it. Um, the main thing I want to replace it, right, is the fact that when my bed's out, that's just a drop down, it goes down along the side. Um, when I'm on the bed and I go to get out, the first thing I do is lean on there and lean on there, which is the fridge box, right? But I've snapped it, right? That's snapped and uh, snap there and there so I don't like it like that so I'm going to build myself a new unit I'm going to build it I know what width, uh, size is the, the the oven is that's the essential thing is getting the oven back in um, well and the, mostly the grill I'm not too fussy about the oven it's definitely the grill I want in um, Although I do like the idea of the oven being in here, uh, the hobs in here, four burner. Um, and I've got on this video, when, even, even when I'm out camping, it's just me. I, I still tend to use two, maybe three. You know, I, I got a frying pan on one, I got the beans on the other, and the kettle on the other. So, you know, I'd be sitting down to eat dinner without a cup of tea. Um, so, can't have that. So, I'm going to make a new unit. I'm possibly going to change the taps because this is a mixer but it's micro, si micro switched so I'm, I'm not on a pressure um, it's not a pressurized system don't really like the idea of a pressurized system because if you have got a leak it's continuously pumping um, especially being as my pump is inside underneath the wardrobe I just can't hear it even when I got it turned on, I can't hear it. So I, I want to uh, st preferably stay on a, a micro switch. I might change it to a, a standard house tap, but have a, a push button switch, a horn button, uh, so I can turn it on and off. Um, I've got to get a one-way valve as well, because it does, uh, when you turn the tap on, it siphons back, to, and there's no power. I haven't got the pump turned on, it siphons back to the tank. It's, it's a great height there down to the floor so anyway that's what I'm doing I'm changing this this side staying the same uh, this side is having uh, one foot drawers in it right down to the floor um, and then this side is having a cupboard from there downwards with shelving inside can't really do a lot about the shelving because the gas containers in there the gas bottle box which is access from outside so I've got to sort that one out I could change ends take it from that end and put it that side then I'd lose the drawer space so I'd rather it over there but that, there again I'd gain the drawer space this side well no stick to the drawers in the middle two packs of timber it's uh, that's 71 by 19 that's for the face and 34 by 19 so let's get a closer up of that one there and I'm making it out of ply this is lightweight ply and uh, it does stain down it is it is light I mean the wind's taking it around here so I can pick it all up with one arm anyway so it's gonna be light enough show you the progress so far oh, it's windy I'll show you the progress so far it's lay on its face at the moment let's uh, stand it back up right oh I stand up right oven grill that'll be a set of three drawers that'll be a cupboard 
right with only little short little tiny short shelves in right there'll be a shelf right across there and then there'll just be a, a couple of short shelves right because they only go to there because the other side of that is the gas locker I've already drilled the drop out in the floor so I daren't move it I would like to have put it in that one and put the drawers on the end but that ain't gonna happen because um, of the drop out hole and I don't want to get ducked in everything there's it, things to go wrong when I start ducting so see there's a drop out in the bottom of there for the oven and the hob and the grill so uh, it's just this end so yeah I just been and got the uh, just been and got the drawer runners um, I ordered some soft, uh, soft closers on the uh, hindernet soft closers that lock themselves as well so you've got to pull quite hard not got a lot of timber left there I've got two sheets ply behind the door there I've had to fetch it in I didn't want it to rain in the night so that's what it's looking at this is the back side this is the side that's seen from outside the van so uh, a big sheet of ply on the back of there with a door for the gas and uh, there will also be a, an opening inside the cupboard to turn the gas off on and off that's another little door it's all bloody cut make cut make cut make right that's the progress so far all right Womble's making a mess again Just laid that out ready to measure unit so far this is the piece that you can see when the door is open got the gas bottle hatch to put in there yet got a hatch in the top on the first shelf or a lip on that shelf um, cut that piece out so that piece will go back in there to uh, uh, so I can reach to turn the gas on and off without opening it open the door that's what I'm doing in that slot there now is the drawers and that's the oven and I still don't know whether to put a drawer in the bottom or a cupboard I'll lose a lot of space at the back of the drawer because there's the uh, door post and everything in there don't really know how deep that's going to be because of uh, the inch and a half step the opening for the sliding door comes to about there that's the sliding door opening 16 inches from that end that's got to be removed um, 16 inches from there and only an inch and a half in so uh, well there's the mark for the inch and a half in um, so that's got to be scribed to the wall that's got to be scribed to the door post well the piece that's going down here has to be described uh, described to the door post like I had to do when I built that one that's in there um, that's those got to stay there because those what I screw it down to the floor with I've already put the brackets in there to screw it down to the floor with so I am I was gonna make a little shelf to go in there just one this is a, but I want to measure me bottles as so I can put me uh, squirt is in there or in the bottom I don't care where um, and then I can put me pots and pans in the drawers because that one's gonna be a, a nine inch drawer and then it's uh, uh, five and a half inch drawers yeah five and a half inch drawers I tried to scrape it to six but there wasn't enough height I could have gone into there but I don't want to because there's the draining board underneath there um, so I've got a, a narrow draw for knives and forks, we cut the redraw, and then I got two five five and a half inch and one nine inch draw. So well, that's it so far. Put a small plinth on that end there, um, just to cover the gap, because uh, my carpet does go right up to that. So I had to measure that. Didn't really want to cut the carpet again. That's it. Yeah, well, Tyler's got some pretend paint, and uh, he's now painting it. Don't say as I like the color. Do you like the color? Yeah. Yeah, he likes the color, so it'll it'll do for him. If it'll do for him, it'll do for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know we're near finished yet. I don't see no runs or streaks. Yeah. Into more. Okay. Right. Mm. And because of this little hindrance, <laughs> I 
put every one of those draw runner rails in the wrong place. Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So I had to move them all. Right. It's on its back. It's on the bench. Don't swing on that because that'll break. Um, it's on the bench. That's it. It's five o'clock. Let's pack it in. Tea time. Uh, so, just to show you what it's like. Sawdust. You trying to get in the camera? Yeah. Alright, that's it. I've had enough. Fit the drawers tomorrow. I've decided three three drawers, three drawers, one cupboard at the bottom. Because there'll be a cupboard there to match underneath that. Um, I haven't made the door for the gas bottle yet. I can turn the gas on and off inside. Will you get out of my camera? Cause you're, cause you're ugly. I'm fat. You're ugly. But I can go on a diet tomorrow. Right. That's it. There you go. See it on the floor now in a minute. Put it down on its feet now. And it's not a cupboard for you to climb around in. There you go. Grill, oven, hob, sink. So I've got to cut that down to the shape of the sink. I'll wait until it's. I've got the sink out of the other one to know exactly where it's going. One drawer, two drawers, three drawers, and I'm gonna have a drop-down cupboard at the bottom. Give me a cupboard full length of that side, so I can reach reach in and turn my gas on and off. Look. You got sawdust everywhere, haven't you? Huh? That's how much you did the cleaning. But anyway, that's all done there now. So I can just get on and make the drawers now. Must remember, you've got to be half inch yeah, either side. Now, which I always you? forget to do. And then I have to alter them. So I've got one big piece of ply in there left now. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got one big piece of ply there which will cut all the drawer fronts and the cupboard door as though they all match in grain they'll all match in grain and then i just got to get another work surface this time a stronger one because it, it breaks in on top of the kitchen so right that's it tea time i'll show you what i've done so far got the runners in the sides of the box that's the unit itself, I just put that piece of ply on the top to cut it. And then uh, I just cut the ply up into s strips. I haven't sanded that one down yet. And then just uh, nailed them together, make a square, and then cut a piece of ply to go on the bottom, as the bottom. Now I'll nail that on. I'll put the glue on there. Nail that on. If you get this corner and all this side square, and nail it down first right you can you only need to put three in right and then move the underbox until you can get a nail to go into that side and then it can be as square as this piece of wood right that's the first drawer made it's a bit thick of bottom like but I'd, I'd rather have a bit of strength because this one's only going to have knives and forks in it and the uh, utensils and uh, eventually it'll go in there it's got the half inch clearance either side eighth of the bottom quarter inch of the top the reason why the back doesn't go down so high is because I gotta cut those off on an angle because those draw runners require you to lift the back in over the rollers so to save losing the, the height all the way along because it says only make the draw that high once five eighths of an inch um, that's one less than six eighths which is three quarters um, I don't see the point of losing all that uh, drawer space to stop stuff sliding around so then uh, this isn't the one but it'll then uh, have a draw front on there eventually 
eventually so progress so far Look at that big round thing in the sky you can see it's lighting up lighting up the shadow, the shadow. that's how bright it is this is on automatic anyway so uh, should adjust to the light anyway that's the prototype draw gone together I just got to put the uh, middle transoms in now just to stop them clashing all right this is a man with most tools not all the tools and I still prefer to do it by hand Better cleaner cut with this than I can with the circular saw. No, no, the circular saw is in the shed and it's covered in junk. But don't force it, let the saw do it. Just letting the sores wait do the work. Finger down the side of the sore just to keep it in guide. Usually goes where you point it then. Keep the sore nice and low. So you cut and then you won't end up with a tear right on the other side. Not like a circular saw, a circular saw can rip right on the top. any rip out on the back you can see just hardly any rip out on the back you'll get that with any saw anyway so uh, and clamp your work down Your clamp works clamp down, it ain't going nowhere. Might move a bit. The advantage over the circular saw is the fact it's got a fence, so everyone is absolutely identical cut. Whereas this, there is the thickness of a saw waver in between the joints. Well, damn it. I've already done the one draw. I can show you the slight variations. That one's pretty good. But then, that one, there is a slight step. But the draw front's going against it, covering it, so it ain't going to work. It ain't, it ain't going to be. Uh, and the back is tapered because you've got to lift the drawer in tip it up and then slide it in because of these two little lumps here they uh, stop the drawer running all the way out so, so i make the back definitely lower Either clamp or have a fence. Now my daughter's come out wondering what the hell I'm talking to. <laughs> I thought you were having a senior moment. <laughs> <laughs> I have senior moments all the time. You 
were talking to yourself. I was talking to myself. Right now, folks, it's now five o'clock in the afternoon. I've just taken the back off. The sun's, well, the sun's moved right round. I just got it on the back gates now. Hence the reason why I'm down this end of the garden. I've been following it. Got all the drawers in. They're all up in the lobby. Haven't seen them out yet. They're all there. They're all lined up. The bottom door is going to be a cupboard. Drop down into the passage. Um, and that'll be hinge. Uh, as it says, oh, I don't lose that four inches, five inches of space in the floor. Same in that cupboard. And uh, this, this one is the cupboard door for there. When I get rid of getting the hinges out of the van, I'll take the other kitchen out first because I'm going to use the hinges off the other kitchen. So it's all measured upright. And. Uh, and what I'm in the middle of doing now, I've so just taken the back off, as I say, just took the back off because that was just lightly screwed in there with four screws, five screws, and uh, just to be able to cut the hatch, if I can pick it up, I don't know if I need to ask. Alright, there you go. So, so I've got the dog kennel, I mean uh, the gas bottle entry, entry there. Look at that for a fit, eh? Nice and tight. That's what she said. There you go. And of course, that'll be the laminate floor and the band that once it's in there. And I still haven't decided because, of course, I can't fit the kitchen and the, t and the, the, the top in there to um, be able to make the door for that side. I'd have to be after it's in. Um, because I just don't know, I need the old unit out to uh, be able to measure properly and get it, get it in there right. Um, this is just temporary across here because the grill's there, but I will be putting a piece of aluminium angle iron, only shallow stuff, but it'll be thick, behind that, those two posts, to take the weight because I've only got this much of top and that's what's happened last time is is as I've got out of bed I put my hand on there and uh, snapped it in half so that's what I'll be doing there yes yeah, okay I've, I've lost four, uh, three inches of space above the drawer but that's an old place, of course. but it also allows that I've, I've got to cut the sink in because the sink the sink will cut, cut into that so I'm hoping it's not going to foul the drawer. Um, I can't remember the height. It, um, seven inches from the top, I think it was. So it, it should it's five inches from the top. So it, it shouldn't cringe on the drawer. Still haven't decided whether just to put a bloody dog bowl in there. I don't know yet. You know, I'll have a little bit more. Try I can't get me bowl in there then and because uh, I always put my bowl into washing and you know just saves that little extra water and because it's not uh, uh, black water or anything like that I can throw it away in the edge or in the drain or just saves carrying it around in the uh, black uh, grey water tank so anyway that's it I'll probably film taking taking the old one out because that's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> it's been in there about two years, so uh, for, totally forgotten what it's going to be like. Um, as as for I was because it's fairly nice face to apply. I was going to varnish it, but screwing it together, I just got way too many screw holes, uh, you know, screws showing. So I will probably fill all those and uh, I'll paint it. Was already painted Battleship grey again. Um, not too dark a grey this time though. Just painted grey and uh, painted grey, and the drawers I'll uh, I'll varnish because I do like the grain on that. The drawers and the doors. I'll just varnish them. Yeah, I might just paint that white. 
wood white battleship grey and varnish on the front because uh, although I could do with doing it cream because the um, oven and the oven and the grill are, are cream I don't know I haven't got to that stage yet what a bloody mess I've got to clear up now <laughs> 